Thank you. Next question comes from Jane. Jane, is, your line is open, and could you please identify your organization? Yeah, I, I think that's supposed to be me. It's Jane Norman with Congressional Quarterly. Yes, you, Jane. Hi. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, the businesses that are members of the roundtable, have you made any uh, decisions about communicating with employees of the businesses and asking them to get in touch with Congress with any kind of uh, message? Or is there any kind of communication going, I guess, I, I'm wondering, from the member businesses to employees? No, we have not, Jane. Uh, the conversations have been uh, really from the CEO level to the members of Congress. Um, uh, the uh, Obviously, companies uh, talk to their employees uh, regularly um, about a whole host of issues, uh, not the least of which are their, are their own benefits, but there is no organized effort by the Business Roundtable to mobilize the employees of its member companies. We're doing this kind of CEO to member, CEO to White House. Okay, fine. You're welcome. Next question comes from Janet from Wall Street Journal. Your line is open. How are you? I'm fine, Janet. How are you? I'm good. good. John, I just wondered if you, you know, we, we haven't heard a lot of individual CEOs with, you know, with a couple of exceptions. There haven't been a lot of individual CEOs who are speaking out about how they, what they feel they want out of reform. Why, why do you think that's been the case? Um, well, a couple of reasons. First of all, let, let me tell you what, what, what I hear. Um, uh, about three years ago, we, we brought the business roundtable through a complete A to Z about everything about health care. Uh, all of the issues, all of the experts, where it was going, where costs were going, where, where treatment regimes were going, where innovation was going. And we, we asked the roundtable members, because they determine our positions and our priorities, what do you want to do about it? And they said three things. They said, first, this is the single biggest cost pressure that we face. So we have to have the reform. And they made it a priority for the business roundtable uh, to get involved in this, and that's why we're involved in it. Those CEOs continue to be uh, involved, and so either in private meetings or in our, our discussions or meetings that we've had, they have been very actively involved. We've had conference calls. Uh, with the senators and the members of Congress who are involved, meetings uh, with the folks at the White House that have been involved, and uh, you, you've got 20, 25, 30, 35 CEOs at every one of those calls and every one of those meetings. So I see them very, very active. The second thing that they, they said is we still want to do this. We, we want to continue to provide health care uh, for our employees and their families, but we can only do it um, if we can get control over the cost, so get in there and, and help uh, get in uh, control of the cost. And, and the third thing they've been um, is a tremendous source of, of information when members of Congress, uh, when members in the administration have asked questions about what if we designed it this way, what if we designed it that way. So they're putting their resources to work that way. Thanks. You're welcome. Next question comes from Rick from Chronicle. Your line is open. Oh, hey, it's Rick Donovan. I actually have um, Chuck Lewis here from Hearst who has a question. Yes, Chuck, Rick, whoever wants to ask. Hey. Good morning, John. Good morning. Uh, two questions. One, uh, did I understand correctly that you believe that all uh, uh, revenue would be found by uh, cost-cutting within the system? And, and my second question is, uh, uh, assuming that outside revenue is needed to uh, finance reform. What is your view of some of the other options that are out there being discussed, including a surtax on wealthy taxpayers or uh, a higher tax on uh, insurance companies? Yeah. Uh, Chuck, uh, we're, we're willing to bet that the, that the savings are there. Um, but let me be very clear. We're, we're realistic. We know how the budgeting process is in, in, in the Congress, so we know that there will be a requirement uh, for revenue. We're supporting um, the efforts to get the revenue from within the system because we think that that's the best way to incentivize um, uh, uh, improvement in the system, improvement in productivity, the kind of creativity and the kind of innovation that will continue to bend the cost curve. We're concerned about bringing it in from the outside because you don't, number one, you don't get those incentives. And then secondly, um, with some of the ideas, for example, that are included in, in, the, um, uh, in the tri-committee bill, 
it's not just taxes on wealthy individuals, it's taxes on small business. And it seems to us that this is exactly the wrong time to raise taxes on small businesses because there are customers in, in many cases, and we want the, uh, the economy to, uh, uh, to recover, uh, and we want to do everything we can to, to promote economic recovery and job creation, and that moves in exactly the, the wrong direction. So two reasons. You don't get the right incentives, and you get uh, the wrong result for other pressing national problems, not the least of which is where we are in our economy and, and our employment right now. Next question, Tammy. Next question comes from Chris from Politico. Your line is open. Good morning, Chris. Hey, John. Chris writes Politico. Yeah. My question is, uh, at what point do you believe that uh, the roundtable and the business community generally may have to walk away from these uh, discussions because the friction points continue to be there, the things that you continue to be concerned about are there, do you envision a point where you have to come out opposed to these things because they haven't been fixed? And what does that look like? Uh, Chris, I hope we never get to that point. Our efforts right now are to encourage everybody to stay there and to continue the, the discussions, the debate, the, the, the compromise, the, the analysis uh, that's necessary. Um, uh, we're big girls and boys uh, here, the CEOs of the Business Roundtable. We understand the political process. We know it's not smooth. Uh, we know it doesn't uh, uh, go uh, directly to, to the right conclusion, that there's going to be a lot of give and take. Uh, so our efforts just continue to, to, to say you can get it right, you must get it right on a bipartisan basis, and uh, everything that we are saying uh, is encouraging them to, to, to continue to work at it. We are not, uh, we're not saying that... that uh, 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 you should stop. We're not saying you can't possibly get to the right uh, answer. In fact, this is much too important uh, uh, of an issue for us from an economic basis, from a personal basis for, for our workforce and their, and their families uh, to give up. Uh, we, are, um, uh, you know, we are probably much more in the take the time and get it right. It's better to get it right than get it quick camp. But, I mean, are you telling folks that, hey, at some point we're not going to be able to support this and we may have to oppose it? I mean, is that part of the discussion or even part of your thinking? Do you have a plan B, John? No, it, what we're telling folks uh, right now uh, is to, uh, Chris, is to here's what we need to, for you to get it right. Here's what we think uh, can be done uh, to keep us in the game. Uh, and uh, and uh, here's what we suggest you you look at so that it solves everybody's problem. We have we have not we have not there is no plan B at this time. We're working on plan A. Uh, a failure is not an option. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There are no further questions at this time. Great, Tammy. Thank you. Thank you all for being on. This is an important question. And if you uh, have uh, important issue, if you have questions. Uh, uh, please uh, get a hold of uh, either Kirk Monroe or Joe Crea uh, at the Business Roundtable, and we'd be happy to follow up with you. And again, uh, thank you for joining us this morning. This concludes today's Business Roundtable briefing on health care reform. A transcript will be available tomorrow afternoon. Please visit businessroundtable.org for more information. Thank you.